Okay, welcome to another episode of my Bradford Say career mode, and we are on episode 30 now, 30 now I believe, which is a pretty decent milestone, I would say, so far. And um, we're going to be playing the area semi final against Peterborough. I'm feeling kind of shitty, but I need to get a double upload out today, so it's going to be this episode, next episode, both be out straight as soon as I've recorded them. Um, we've got sore ribs, and I'm not feeling too great, but beyond that, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to be playing Peterborough. In the area semi-final this episode, and then next episode, of course, we're going to be playing Leighton Orient away in the league. But in the last episode, we uh, unfortunately got knocked out of the FA Cup early, losing 2-0 to Cambridge United, which is unfortunate, but you can't help it because world class is hell. But if we look at the league table quickly, despite everything, I just wanted to take a quick look at the league table. We still are at top. We still are five points clear of Scunthorpe, so we've still got a long way to go in the season, obviously, but we are, we're in a good position to uh, win it early. If it was only like 20 games long, we'd have won it by now, but unfortunately, I thought you were up the road. Uh, I was, but I'm back. Because um, things just went quicker, like things up there just went quicker than expected, so it's, I'm back early. A lot of my players are tired, which is not good. I'm going to switch... Um, Wood in here because Carbonaro's injured. Only for five days though, he's back for the next game, which is really lucky. Could have been a lot worse. We're going to bring on Vaughn. We're just going to pretty much change up the whole squad to try and make sure we have as many full fitness players as we can in that team. And then rotate them around for the league. I think I'll just have to do that. Um, I'm going to give... Wait, where's O'Connor? Am I blind? Oh, he's in the defence already. Who am I looking for? Oh, Richard Everton. I'm going to give Leonard Grill a chance in goal. What do you mean, wait, what? Basically, I went up early this morning. We had to get uh, there about nine, half nine. And it, be, um, it went quicker than planned. The stuff I was doing on the road. So, I am back. My keeper is kind of tired, actually. Maybe I should rest him, but it's a semi-final, so I kind of want to not rest him because it's the semi-final. So we're just going to go in, hopefully win. I played. I was playing against Fred the other day, and I played decently, so I'm hoping that I'll transfer across to career mode. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Basically, my sister was looking around the university up there, and I went up there as well, and she decided that she didn't want to go to any afternoon stuff, and... We've got to go home early, I guess. Might be the simplest drill and I've just messed it up. Whatever. Anyway. Two episodes and Welcome then everyone. I'm going to get... I don't know. What was I was going to say. Get some sleep because I'm tired. Been up since five this morning. We're at home this game, I'm pretty sure, so home advantage is with us. There's obviously a couple of people who are still not full fitness, but um, might try and sell them off at halftime and bring on the full fitness guys. Yeah, get some sleep soon. Actually, I'm probably going to order some dinner and then get some sleep. Craig wanted to play 2K20, but I think he's AFK. Don't trust Craig as either. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't trust him as healer in general, which is why I'm usually the one playing it. O'Connor's on the yellow. If he gets another yellow here, he'll be banned for the final, so... We just need to keep an eye on that. we two front lines, I was straight to the Mani. Oh, God. Anyone watching... Well, it isn't Andrew, obviously. I'm talking about Paladins. He done 10k healing. Oh, boy. He was quite difficult to heal with, though. The squad. They've got a decent squad. Only a couple I recognise. I just need to make sure my defence is good and I can actually make attacks. Mate, she's OP. Mm. But it's hard. Uh, it's hard to remember which healing to use. You can leave her on the point. <laughs> you can leave her fox on the point and actually play her. Yeah, but that's not got much to do with healing, to be fair. I've only played EO on AI mode anyway, and I've used it quite well. I've never played her online. 
I try and get into the the mindset of uh, FIFA because I have literally been travelling pretty much all day. Scandal, please get there. Oh, couldn't. It's gonna be a throw though. Early, early chance here. Armor. Scandal, stay on side. Thank you. But then, oh come on. Woods try to get there. He's not gonna get a header award. I have to remember as well, Peterborough are in the league above, so it's going to be a challenge. But I did beat Ipswich, and they were also in the league above. I've not done very well there. Richard Everton's there, though. And it's, it's cleared a little bit, but not greatly. Not a great amount. There, there was a way. I think it was Meller with the header. It's still not completely clear. Dangerous looking attack. In the end, the shot wasn't really that great. I'm hopefully going to get it to Akpan here. Yep. Akpan to Palmer. Scannell. He can run here. Bradford game today was postponed because of the bad weather, so I've got no update on the real-life results. Oh, I tried to ping it back into the middle because it went a bit too far. Don't want to take a shot from that angle, so it's kind of like, I don't know what to do there. Bradford game in real life was yeah postponed because of the weather, so don't know the score. But it was against Macclesfield and we lost three 0 to Macclesfield in the game, so they probably would have done better than what I did. And Chaplin, Chaplin. Vaughan's calling for it. Vaughan. Chaplin, make a run, make a run, make a run. Thank you, you fucking idiot. You made a run straight away there, Chaplin. We'd be one 0 I don't know how to tell him to make a run other than the AI doing well, it for me. Unless I controlled him, but I had the ball with Vaughan. I couldn't really do anything. Scannell. As you know, or if you don't know already, if we go to a draw here, it goes to penalties. I thought he went to extra time, but I learned after the Ipswich game it didn't. I can't get a pass through. There's so many people there, and I need to pass to someone there. Everyone's getting marked like hell. Keep it in. You fucking idiot, man. I'll read you a chat in a minute, Andrew. I'm just trying to focus a sec. Just trying to make sure they don't Warren. attack and score. It might be this is probably exactly what they're going to do here. To take Never mind, O'Connor. Good interception. Run, run, run. Well, Go on, Kakachi. Go on. Fuck it. Oh, I was going to put it across the middle, but it wasn't the greatest of positions. But I believe Chaplin. So I just went for his shot and it didn't go too badly for the left back. You made a new loadout well, for Vivian, 55% life steal. Oh god, that sounds <laughs> sounds OP. I got a corner on the stroke stroke in the 19th minute. I've got sore arms as well. Sore arms and sore fucking ribs. Not good. I'm falling apart at the seams. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, it's a cross in, it's near Akpan. This looks promising. Scannell, oh, it's going to deflect for another corner. We're putting on some good attacking pressure, though. I like that. Might not be scoring, but we're putting on the pressure on Peterborough here to try and do something to stop us. I'd say we've been the better side so far. They've had a couple of opportunities that have built up. But I feel like we've been the better side. Be another corner taken by Matthew Palmer here. I do 240 damage a shot with my ult and then 20% extra after two seconds. That is... That's just called. You might as well just call yourself Shredder at that point. He's shredding their health. Don't oh, catch it. Keep up with him, please. Don't let him break. Don't let him break. Don't let him break. Don't let him break. Nice. Oh, never mind. I thought I tackled him. Not nice. Oh, boy. Don't let him break. Don't let him break. Don't let him break. Yes, yeah, good block. Now, it's gone straight to the other end. And they've got a corner. We'll let him break a little bit, but I thought I had to tackle. I didn't. So we had to keep pushing back. I'll give them a corner, but it might work out in our favour still. Anyone just joining in? I, if I sound a little bit, ugh, it's because I've been up since five o'clock this morning. So, Over it comes. can you blame me? Just pass it away. I don't care where, as long as it's not in our box. Doesn't have to be to our player. <laughs> right, Chaplin. He's got an option to the left, but not much room. For him to manoeuvre. I'm going to try and go through. I've got a foul there. 
tackling like that. I don't the know about that. I kind of went over his leg, to be honest, but I'm not going to complain. I think it's a yellow for Thompson, right back. And the offence sufficiently sinister. To Wood's not the paciest of players, yes, but he is a winger, so I need to try and now. space down. It wasn't the best of tackles. He did catch me late a little bit, but to be honest, it wasn't. Mu there wasn't much in it. I'm not sure if it was yellow card offence, but I'm not going to complain. We get a free kick. I see it do a good delivery now, trying to hit it to uh, Vaughn's head. Hopefully Vaughn's head. Or maybe just someone who's taller than Chaplin. We'll try and get it back post, sort of here, maybe. Delivered into the box. Akpan. Oh the my god, I'm the, the best. Well, keep it tight. I'm well, the fucking best. I lined that up to perfection. Akpan ran in change. and just bonked that with his head. That was well, beautiful. Beautiful cross. A beautiful net, header. The crosses are coming in thick and fast, and that was what a beauty. What a bloody that free kick. It's led Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal to a goal. Scored. The outstretched arm of the Peterborough goalkeeper couldn't reach it. We header it in. Inch well, perfect ball into the middle by Wood there. At Pan with the header. In, in real life, At Pan's just become a new father, which is a fun little fact. And he scored in my game, so it's kind of a... I don't know, to be honest, what the word would be to describe that, but so kind of luck in real, it's like good in real life and good in game. Everything's kind of packed pan. Now it's just a matter of holding on to this, maybe extending the lead. That's going to go out of play, surely. He's actually kept it in. Oh, he did. He had kept it in. He did well to keep it in from going over for a throw in, but couldn't control it, and it's gone for a goal kick, which is probably a the best thing you could have asked for there. Almost reaching the half an hour mark in this match in the Leasing.com Trophy area semi-final. If we can't win anything else, we're going to try our asses Three. off to win this. We've had a bit of, a, bit of a cup run. Despite the fact that a couple of games were on an easier difficulty. We managed to get past Ipswich on World Class and we're currently beating Peterborough, although it might not last for much longer. The, the way that they're attacking here. Keep Richard Severton in the centre. He's going to header it away if he can. Or actually, Meller can head it straight to their player, and our player's going to block it to our goalkeeper. Not how I planned it, but it works. Throw it down to Meller. He's got a bit of open space. Scannell not being marked. Not going to complain. Palmer. That then. Oh, is it going to stay up for Henley or Meller even? Meller is tired. I'm so used to playing Henley there as well, so that's why I said Henley. Wasn't the best of passes. I'm going to have to sub off a couple of people at half time. I just hope I have the people on the bench that I need because I didn't actually check the bench because you've got have five players in the Leeson.com trophy. We'll just get it clear. Uh, clear off the pitch. I mean, it works. It's not where I wanted it to go. Oh, my God. No, get off me. Oh, he's done well to recover after making the initial mistake. But we've got another chance, and it's uh, not the best shot. We've got to close down slightly there. We've got a bit lucky winning the possession. If that was Ismail, I think we would have been 2 0, but Scannell's got slightly slower pace, and I'm playing Scannell over Ismail because Ismail is tired. Playing a lot of games recently. December is full of fixtures. Just need to try and keep the squad rotated and fresh. We have to bring in. Uh, Brady from the Youth Academy just to make up the numbers and keep Boyd. people fit. The He's offside there, I believe. The Boyd. And that's what the whistle went for. Yep. He tried to get himself back on for the pass, but couldn't. I mean, we're about two minutes before half time now. If we go in with a half time lead, that gives me a, a bit of confidence that we can maybe hold on for the whole 90 minutes. It might take a few changes of personnel because we are. Unfit as hell. League two teams don't usually have a lot of stamina in the players. I'm really looking forward to the January transfer window on this. We won't get there till Wednesday. But it should be if I keep doing the episodes like I schedule them. We won't get there till Wednesday. It should be good though. Nodded away by Akpan. Akpan has been star player so far. Not just because of the goal, but he's been in he's been intercepting like he used to do. And he's running through, but he's offside. It's, it's a nice idea. And he scored a second, if it counted. But he's offside. <laughs> I realised as soon as I played it. I was hoping he'd maybe just hold his run for an extra second there, but he didn't. 
We're just getting the time ticking away. It's just about half time. They're gonna hit this free kick and it'll be half time. Three minutes of added time have gone like just really fast. Ben it's gonna try and launch one up the pitch for Kanu. And it's not gonna matter because he's missed it. And we're at half time. We've got the goal. Can we hold on? He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? You've got to give the credit to Wood, though, for setting up Akpan's goal. That free kick was beautifully played in. And after a couple of defeats in the past two episodes, we've actually got a win. Or we're actually winning, I should say. I shouldn't speak too soon because they might come back and win 2 1, but. We're going to have to chip. I think mm, maybe I could play Meller and Palmer and that till the 60th minute, I would say. I'm going to bring on Henley just now, actually. And. um, Yeah, I'll bring on Anderson as well. Our last sub will probably be uh, Hennessy for O'Connor. The catcher will have to play the full 90 minutes despite being tired. I think that'll be okay. I don't know where our next game is either, so. Because it might just be a matter of. People being almost dead, but still having to play. We might pick up a couple of injuries due to people being tired, which could suck. But we're getting close to January, so we can add to the squad as well. So hopefully everything will come around okay, and we can keep keep going in the league. And after this game, hopefully we can get to the area final, and then the actual. I think it's. I think you go to an area final, and then you go to an, like the final, another final as well, like the area which is north versus north, I believe. And then the actual final would be North versus South. That was almost a brilliant ball roll, but the defender read it like a book. If I got through that ball roll 2 0, 100%, and now they're going to counter. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Which is Everton. Imagine to get it away. The tackle. Very good tackle as well. Anderson playing it back to Henley. I don't know where Scanlon is. Scanlon is behind. We'll give Henley the run because he's got full fitness. It's got into the middle. I don't know how it's got into the middle. I fully expected the defender to block that, but it went straight into Chaplin. That was that turned out to be a really good little ball in, and Chaplin wasn't sure if he was going to get it. I'm guessing he didn't really have time to steady himself for the shot, but it was still on target. The paper goalkeeper with a save, though. And the corner now. Hopefully we can head that up to Akpan's head again. Oh, we did, but it's just bounced over. That's unfortunate. I think, think Akpan has to be our set piece uh, aimer. Like we have to aim it at him. The bounce has just taken it over the bar, though. Less of a bounce there would have been two 0 and Akpan would have been the star player, one hundred percent. Like he already is at the moment. I would say the best player playing for us. But he was. It was good, like confirmed it. They've made a substitution. Tony's come off for Kanu. Tony's one of the names I recognise. He's not a great striker, but he will. He can score. And he might score. And he hasn't scored. I don't know if that was Tony at all. It probably was, but the ball's through. I don't know who was meant to be marking it. I think it was O'Connor. Ran out of position. Richards Everton came across, but couldn't get there. But Grills made the save, and Peterborough have a corner. I don't know how many corners they've had this game, but it's going to be another one for them. It's up close and personal. It's ping pong. Are you kidding me? If that would have gone in, I would have actually lost my rag. The way that that bounced in, I would have been so mad. Anderson. Chaplin. It was pawed off the line by Lennar Grill there. And that's the kind of goalkeeper we need. Doesn't give up on the ball, even if it's almost in the net. That was, that was a touch and go there for a second. I, I don't know if he was offside or not, but it doesn't matter because Lennar Grill has got there. That's not who I threw it to, but we'll work with it. Because they've just played it back. I need to lo not lose my composure. Just keep going. That's going to go straight to the hands of Grill. Kikache is going to get this ball if my aim is good, which it is. O'Connor now. Aim it up towards Henley. He has got full fitness now. He's been subbed on at half time. So. Chaplin. Anderson. I need Chaplin to run. He's got I need the pace from him. Vaughan. Chaplin, Anderson's not going to get there before the goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through. And Dorinas got there. Peterborough. Henley should win the header over Tony there. Akpan should get that ball, and he does. Wood. He has plenty of support. Anderson. 
Oh, the pass was not the best there from Anderson. I was trying to play it for the Chaplin, just couldn't direct it properly. Catch is going to get the ball. Read. And it's not going to be the best pass from him to Anderson either. Passing is falling apart in the second half for us. Akpan, we need the midfield maestro Nathan to continue Johnson. his maestroing. Ward. Good tackle by Kakache, Akpan. Now to Anderson. Both our front men are in like bad positions are being fully marked and I can't do anything with Scannell either because he's getting tired. I think it might just have to be a defensive effort. I don't think we're getting a second. I just really hope they don't equalise. And Henley. Oh, what? I thought Henley had that headed away, but it's fallen to Tony, I believe, again. And Grill had to shut the angle down. I, sl I started to bring him out and then I didn't know if that was the best plan because they could have just passed it in the middle and scored, but luckily it worked out it's corner city for Peterborough but they just can't get seem to get in the, like a decent position for a header I might have just eaten my words here another tackle I don't think it's a goal kick or a corner he's kicked it off the player yeah goal kick smart play not sure who it was that did it it might be Kikache it was Kikache I recognise that number 25 even the highest selling t-shirt in our club so can we get to the area final I don't know if the area final is played in Wembley or where the Ward. area final is played. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Excellent get there, get there, get there. Oh, good job, Grill. He's repaying my faith in him once again. Vaughn is going to chase, but he's not going to get there. He is going to get there. Can he make it count? Are you? I would have laughed so hard if that guy in. I wanted Chaplin to keep running and I wanted to play a little pass down to him, but I was getting pressured there. But it almost went in the own goal of the defender, and that would have been beautiful and funny, and it would have put us through, most likely. Right now, I'm still unsure. We've got 12 minutes remaining. We're going to play defensive here. I haven't aimed for Akpan here, I've just aimed for anyone. Kakachi will be the target. Now they've lost it. Oh, we need Isa not to break away here. Akpan needs to shut him down. Well, Give us some time to regroup defensively. Akpan's intercepted that again. He's the interception machine. Granted, it's still gone to their player, but it's not the point. Akpan, Anderson, Chaplin's way off, but we're going to be able to go. <laughs> right, we'll do that substitution now. Shore up the defence with a more fit player. Hennessy, of course, a youth player. Came for the academy. Signed him straight away because he was of age to be signed to the first team. And he's played, in the games I've given him, he's played well. Or he's played decently anyway. Akpan. Henley, for some reason, still forward. I don't exactly know why. But he is. So Options just accept it, okay? Chaplin. Anderson. He tried to take a shot, but it was closed down. And now Henley's out of position. And Tony could make it through here. Wood's going to try and track back. Don't. Commit send it back to Tony there because Wood has the interception. Nice, nice, nice. Good cam interception there. Akpan, Chaplin. Vaughn's going to have to run here. Is he going to make it? He is. Options in the middle and it's worked. Somebody's injured or at least he's picked up a knock. I don't know who it is, but it's worked out. I think that's Jermaine Anderson. Who's just sealed well, the fucking place in the area final for us? Wasn't sure if that pass was really making it through with the centre back marking an Anderson finish. closely, but he a slipped. It's fall. Goal. It's well, it's fallen to Anderson, I should say. The goalkeeper, I think, may have put all his faith in his defender there, and it's done no good. And I can cover. He's nursing that shoulder. He might have what Carbonero has, bruised shoulder, but he's a second string player anyway, so it wouldn't be a big loss losing him just for a little while. Although at the it's moment, I don't know, because Samba has a lot of fixtures. I think he's nursing his shoulder. It must have been when he took that shot and it got closed down. He must have taken a little knock then. But we can't make any more substitutions. He's going to have to tough out these last few minutes. I don't think I have a centre mid on the bench anyway. If they score now, it's not as bad. But I would like not them to score, just in case they can push and get an equaliser as well. That's not where I threw it, but it's going to come to Henley. Akpan. 
It's been a good display, I'm going to be honest. I feel like I played well. I feel like it's a deserved win as well. It's not like I I don't deserve it. I've had a couple of chances and just got lucky. I feel like I've made enough chances and deserved it with my play. And Chaplin, Macy Vaughan through here, and it could be three. It could be three. And it won't be three. I was hoping the goalkeeper would come out and I could just do a cheeky lob on him, but he was thinking about coming out and then didn't. But that will be full time. And the Bradford fans go mental. I don't even know if you can hear me above the Bradford fans here. Jesus Christ, that reaction. I am still here. I don't know if you can hear me over the crowd. Bradford City put their place in the area final. I believe that's how it works. I could be incorrect. I could be completely incorrect. The two midfielders, Hope Akpam, Jermaine Anderson, give us a 2 0 win and send us to the area final. I am so happy that we actually won that. There were so many times, or, or a couple of times, I thought oh, it's not going to happen for us. But it did. We got the first goal in the 27th minute, and then obviously we could have had two, but Kachi missed his opportunity, I guess. I don't remember even what it was, but whatever. We did have more shots, more shots on target. Possession was almost even. I feel like based on those stats, we probably did deserve to win. Might have only been like, by, I think they deserved to score, but Grill was playing well today. You get 7.7, .7, but man of the match goes to Hope Akpan, and I couldn't have given it to anyone else. Vol with an 8.5. His play was decent today. Jermaine Anderson with 8.1. Where is Wood? Wood is back in right back for some reason. He is an 8.5. I don't know why him and Henley have decided to swap, but <laughs> we're just, I guess, consolidating, I suppose. But that free kick from Wood made me really happy. But anyway, before I uh, go off, I should check Peeper's ratings, who their best player was. Their best player looked to be uh, Butler in the left-back position. I didn't really see much of the game either. Must have closed down the scan. He did close down the scan quite a bit, actually. But in the end, we do get a 2-0 win. There are the other results. I don't know who will be playing. I think it would be Sunderland. If it's the area final, it would be Sunderland. And then... I'm not sure how it works, to be honest. I'm not smelly. I just want, all right? All right, some questions regarding the match. Yeah, give me. Cover win that sees you through to the next round of the leasing.com trophy. What are your impressions on the match? I know it says sees you through, but I'm not going to just register that. I am happy with the boys. That sounds really weird. We controlled the game end to end, and I think the scoreline reflects that reality. I'm happy with the boys. We did play well. I'm going to go to Macau's and Tesco. You want any drinks? No, I've got drinks. Looks like Carbonero wasn't missed today as the team managed to win and score plenty of goals in his absence. I didn't read the last bit. Can the team manage without Carbonero in the long run? Um, no, because he's going to be back after this game anyway because he's only injured for five days. We've been stronger with him. We have an amazing squad, always ready to prove themselves on the pitch and wear the club's colours with pride. I'm happy with today's result. I'm certain once Johan will return, we will be stronger. A comfortable win after two goals scored with Bradford City today. Do you think the game could have gone another way today? I actually, yes, because I wasn't sure. I will say Scotland was unfair to be nice. We were a better team deserved to win, but still think in the end, Scotland was a bit unfair to Peter United. There's lots for us to take away from this one, both positives and negatives. Thank you for answering the questions. I don't know if that was the right answer, but I don't want to get the, like disrespect him, like saying we could have scored more, because we probably couldn't. Actually, maybe we could have scored one, but we're not going to say that. 93 manager rating. Take a look at that. Drink it in. That is a beautiful manager rating. Got... um. A message here from Ben Richards Everton. Hey Gaffer, I really appreciate you listening to me and letting me get out there to play while I'm in form. You did solid at the back today, so influential performance. Your outstanding performance and your hunger to play will turn you into a role model for the rest of the squad. He is captain, so he better be the role model. Um, but we're looking at the league now. We're only two points clear. We don't have a game in hand, and we're going to be playing that on the Saturday. Tournament prize money. Hold on a minute. We've got three messages here. Let's take a look. Uh, prize money, 60k. Not too shabby, Alonso. We get a uh, match reschedule. I'm assuming these are to do with um, Listen.com trophy. Our Stevenage game that was on the 11th of February and that will be on the 3rd of March. And the game against Cambridge, which is going to be on the 15th, is now on the 17th of February. And I'm just going to take a quick little sneak peek here who we're going to be facing because I am want to know 
Obviously, there's the rest of the games before December. We'll be playing this one next episode. And then a double, double upload tomorrow will be Salford and Carlisle. Monday will be Mansfield. And then we'll be in the transfer window over here. But January is packed. But I want to see who we're facing. Oh. Shrewsbury? I'm assuming that's the area final. It doesn't say... I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna quit, uh, for my own peace of mind. I'm just gonna take a quick, quick look in the standings, just to see if I'm right about how it works. Because I'm gonna be confused otherwise. I easily, I'm easily confused. Anyway, yeah, the area final. So we're gonna have our area final against Shrewsbury. I'm not sure why. I guess Shrewsbury technically are north, but I don't understand the Sunderland and Portsmouth one if it's an area final, because Sunderland's like near the top of England, Portsmouth's at the bottom. But I'm not gonna question how it works. The winner of our game will probably face the winner of their game in the final, that actual final. And I believe that's played at Wembley. So if we beat Shrewsbury, we could be going to Wembley. But that's going to be ages away now because it's not till February we play that. We've got league action up until then. Let's just simulate to the Orient game. And we can't do any training because it's about in the um, match day. Let's take a look. Boss, I'm fully recovered after my bruised shoulder injury and I'm hoping you'll put me back in the squad today. Um, you might be able to take a while. Yep, see you back in action. I look forward to seeing you back in action. I hope you'll be at the peak of your game. If he doesn't do well now, now that I've told him he's back in the squad, we're going to have issues. But we'll find out next time whether he will do well or not because that is the end of another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. We go through to the area... Final in the leasing.com trophy. It could be our silverware. I know it's not like a big thing because it's probably the worst cup you could win in English football. But a trophy is a trophy at this point. In my first season, I've only done 30 episodes of this. In my first season, that'd be great to get a trophy. But like I said, that's going to be the end. And I'll see you very, very soon for the late in Orient game. Hopefully, we can extend our lead back to five points. But I guess we'll see when we play that game.